more on the drama, more on the excitement of the Kentucky Derby. We got Dylan Dreyer down at Churchill Downs with our other pal. Hey, guys. What's up? <laughs> Good morning, morning guys. Uh, you know, Mike, it's it's wild to be here because, yeah. first of all, we haven't been here in the last couple years. Mm -hmm. um, me personally. Yes. Good to have you back. It's nice Welcome to be back. back. Uh, last year wasn't at full capacity. We're back this year, but someone who's not back, Bob Baffert. Right. He's a celebrity around here. Do you mm -hmm. think it'll be felt that he his presence isn't here? Certainly, if you're watching on TV. I think Stephanie hit it perfectly mm -hmm. in, in the setup story. Bob Baffert is the human face of this sport for the last two decades. And he's one of the most successful trainers of all time, having won six derbies. Would have been a seventh last year, but as she mentioned, it was disqualified after about a nine-month wait for that to finally happen. But the presence of Baffert is here with those two horses, Messier and Taba. Both have chances. They're trained by a guy who was an assistant for Baffert, so his presence will be a part of this event, even though his familiar mane of white hair will not be. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Uh, you know, I like to gamble. I like yep. to bet on the horses. Um, I tend to go with like a 15 to 20 to 1 odd, but who are the favorites going into the race? Yeah, it is not a clear cut. There's a horse to beat. Mm -hmm. which is always fun for the wagering and gives you a little bit better return if you find the right one. Uh, Epicenter is one of those horses to watch. Steve Asmussen is the trainer of that horse. He's won more races than any trainer in the history of North American thoroughbred racing, mm -hmm. but not the Derby. So he's trying to win his first one. So that's one horse I would watch. And uh, we mentioned Zandon as well. He's also trained by Chad Brown, one of the best in the business, looking for his first Derby. That's my choice. I'll give okay. that away early. <laughs> if you want to change the odds, go out there. But right. that's the horse I think is going to win the Derby. So the those are the horses everyone's talking about, but what's it like, you know, in, in the corners of the track here? You know, who, who has the buzz? This is the week that we do today show hours. We show up early at the track. There's a lot of buzz about a horse from China, or from, from Japan, excuse me, that's getting a lot of attention. Crown Pride has gotten, one, a lot of attention, and two, a great track record. And horse racing in Japan has had a great run the last six or seven months. The people who know around here are thinking about adding Crown Pride to their betting options for the weekend. So okay. keep an eye on that horse. I got to meet uh, Cyberknife yesterday. Oh. Did you know that he has a goat that actually keeps him comfortable and keeps him calm before the race? Well, it's a five-hour show. That's why we have 16 <laughs> of us here to cover. I didn't know that, but thank you. Yes, so that's why I think I might place my bet on Cyberknife. Okay, 20 to 1 odds, guys. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Dylan. Thanks, Mike. We'll be watching, again, the coverage of the 148th running of the Kentucky Derby. It starts tomorrow at 2.30 Eastern on NBC streaming on Peacock. A lot of people are wondering, like, if it rains, yeah, then that, what goes down? I, in fact, Mike, I, wa I wanted to ask Mike, hey, Mike, because it looks like it's going to be really rainy today, yeah. maybe showery tomorrow, but the track looks like it could be a little messy. What is, what's that going to mean? Yeah, Al, one thing we always look at when we check out who to bet, is a horse favored because they've run well in the mud. Most of these horses have not run on a muddy track. Oh. So if you guys can take care of the weather today, <laughs> dry it out by tomorrow morning. It does dry out pretty quickly, though. This track dries really right. well. So there's a chance that it won't be that, as muddy mm -hmm. as it might be if it rained during the day like it did a few years ago. Okay. All right. All there right. you go. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.